Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths from social media, as seen at Legacy.com in the third week of July 2022. Singer William Puji Hart died July 14, 2022, of complications from surgery at the age of 77. He was the lead singer for the Philly soul group The Delphonics, known for hits including La La Means I Love You. Hart is being remembered as a Grammy Award winner and as the group's primary songwriter and composer. Actor and musician Mickey Rooney Jr. died July 16, 2022, at his home in Glendale, Arizona, at the age of 77. The oldest child of the late Mickey Rooney, he followed in his dad's footsteps, appearing in movies and TV shows. He was one of the original Mouseketeers on the Mickey Mouse Club. Rooney is also being remembered for his musical career. He released his own music and played in Willie Nelson's band. Author Anne Shulgin died July 9, 2022, at her home in the San Francisco area at the age of 91. Alongside her husband, she was a pioneer of the use of psychedelic drugs in therapy. The couple wrote two books about their experiences, advocating for experimentation with psychedelics to expand one's consciousness. Scientist and anti-war activist John Freunds died July 13, 2022, at a hospital in Santa Monica, California. He died of complications from Parkinson's disease at the age of 83. He was one of the defendants in the trial of the so-called Chicago 7, protesters arrested outside the 1968 Democratic National Convention. Freunds was acquitted of the charges. A renowned chemist, he is being remembered as an expert on toxic substances. His research shaped government regulations on harmful contaminants like lead and diesel exhaust. Freund served in the Air National Guard. Football player Spencer Webb died July 13, 2022, in a cliff diving accident at the age of 22. He was a tight end for the University of Oregon Ducks, having just completed his fourth season there. Webb is being remembered as the number one ranked tight end in California after his high school career. Musician Paul Ryder died July 15, 2022, at the age of 58. He was the founding bass player for Happy Mondays, a popular band on the British music scene of the 1980s and 90s. Ryder is being remembered for driving the band's unique sound with his bass grooves. Racing driver Bobby East died July 13, 2022 at a hospital in Orange, California. He died of a stab wound at the age of 37. He was the youngest driver ever to win a USAC midget race when he was just 16 years old. East is also being remembered as a NASCAR driver in the Bush Series and Craftsman Truck Series. Comedian and actor Jack Knight died July 14, 2022, by suicide at the age of 28. He was known for starring in the animated show Big Mouth and in the recent comedy series Bust Down. Knight is also being remembered as a stand-up comedian as well as a writer for TV shows including Blackish. Businesswoman Tanya Kersey died July 18, 2022, at a hospital in Rancho Cucamonga, California. She died of cardiac arrest at the age of 61. She was the founder of the Hollywood Black Film Festival, which has been called the Black Sundance. Kersey is being remembered for her work to support and mentor black filmmakers. Writer David Dalton died July 11, 2022, in New York City. 
He died of cancer at the age of 80. He wrote for Rolling Stone magazine, contributing work including an award-winning series on Charles Manson. Dalton is also being remembered for writing biographies of celebrities including Janis Joplin, Sid Vicious, and James Dean. Artist Clays Oldenburg died July 18, 2022 at his home in Manhattan. He died of complications from a fall at the age of 93. He was known for his enormous sculptures of everyday objects, which were displayed in public spaces around the world. Oldenburg is being remembered for sculptures including Shuttlecocks in Kansas City and Spoonbridge and Cherry in Minneapolis. Musician Nolan Neal died July 18, 2022, at the age of 41. He was a contestant on The Voice and America's Got Talent, impressing the judges on both shows. Neal is being remembered for speaking frankly about his struggles with substance abuse. Musician Michael Henderson died July 19, 2022, at his home in Atlanta at the age of 71. He was a bass player who performed in Miles Davis's band, as well as recording and touring with Stevie Wonder, Aretha Franklin, and many more. Henderson is also being remembered for his singing career with R&B hits including Wide Receiver and Take Me I'm Yours. Anti-apartheid activist Jessie Duarte died July 17, 2022, in Johannesburg. She died of cancer at the age of 68. She was an aide to South African President Nelson Mandela, working closely with him in the fight to bring down apartheid. She is also being remembered as the Acting Secretary General of the African National Congress, Mandela's political party. Football player Charles Johnson died July 19, 2022, in Raleigh, North Carolina, at the age of 50. He was a first-round pick for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 1994 NFL Draft. Johnson is also being remembered for winning Super Bowl 36 with the New England Patriots, as well as playing for the Philadelphia Eagles and Buffalo Bills. Actress Rebecca Balding died July 18, 2022, in Park City, Utah. She died of ovarian cancer at the age of 73. She was known for her role on Charmed as Elise Rothman, Phoebe's boss. Balding is also being remembered for playing Carol David on Soap, as well as other TV and movie roles. You may not know that any family can place an obituary on Legacy in honor of a loved one's memory. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. Three people were killed in a shooting at a mall in Greenwood, Indiana on July 17, 2022. Their names are Victor Gomez, Pedro Pineda, Rosa Miriam Rivera de Pineda. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of Detroit police officer Lauren Kortz, who died in the line of duty. Flags in New Mexico have been lowered to honor the memory of four Bernalillo County first responders killed in a Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office helicopter crash. Under Sheriff Larry Corrin, Lieutenant Fred Beers, and Deputy Michael Levinson, all of the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office, and Bernalillo County Fire Department Rescue Specialist Matthew King. Flags in South Dakota have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Henry Carlson, Jr. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Marine Corps Sergeant Matthew P. Partika. 
flags in Arkansas have been lowered to honor the memory of police officer Vincent Parks of the Jonesboro Police Department. Flags in California have been lowered to honor the memory of Captain Brian Falk of the Kern County Fire Department. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, singer Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park died by suicide at the age of 41. Ten years ago this week, musician Kitty Wells died of complications from a stroke at the age of 92. Fifteen years ago this week, TV personality Tammy Faye Messner died of colon cancer at the age of 65. Fifty-five years ago this week, musician John Coltrane died of liver cancer at the age of 40. Fifty-five years ago this week, author Carl Sandburg died of natural causes at the age of 89. Comedian and actress Phyllis Diller was born 105 years ago this week. She died in 2012 at the age of 95. Businessman Orville Redenbacher was born 115 years ago this week. He died in 1995 of a heart attack at the age of 88. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.